Hey, it's Ken again. Thanks for stopping by. I thought today we would talk about a pretty hot topic. I get asked quite often, what uh, are my habits, you know, kind of my daily routine, successful things that that I believe, you know, I, I do and, and help me and separate me from, from other people as it relates to, you know, business and, and life in general. So let me just talk quickly about daily routine first. I think it's really important how you start your day. And I think it kind of sets the tone. I, I had a lot of mentors in my life, and one of the most valuable things that was shared with me probably about 15 years ago was basically how you start your day will determine how the rest of your day goes. So if you immediately put yourself into fireman mode, right, where you're, where you're automatically just reactive and you're putting out fires, then you can pretty much count on the rest of your day being chaos. And because of that, I will tell you one of my biggest secrets, if you will, that I that I have tapped into over the last five years and just simply will not waver off is I don't check email before 9 a.m. Do not do it. I do not, uh, I, I will check text messages. So if somebody truly knows they need to get a hold of me and it's an emergency, they know how to make that happen. But from an email perspective, I don't check email before 9 a.m. because I get a lot of other things done prior to 9 a.m., right? The first thing I do in the morning is I get up and I, and I go to the gym. I think it's, for me personally, it's, a, it's just become a habit over the years where it kind of gets the, all the endorphins firing, gets the adrenaline going, just gets me going, gets me in the right state of mind. I think state is, is a massive um, dictator of how your day goes. Um, next thing I do is, is I certainly come home and, and get cleaned up and I make a point of hanging out with my, my family um, for a long time, for many, many years. Certainly through my 20s and my early 30s, 30s this was not part of my routine. Uh, I took a lot of pride in being the first one at the office. I went to the gym at 5.30 in the morning and took pride in being at the office at 6.30 in the morning and being the last one home at 8, 9 o'clock at night. Um, I won't make that mistake twice. Second time around, that's just not who I am anymore. So I'm not telling you that this is necessarily good for everybody. There's a lot of people that take pride in putting in those 18 hour days. And I certainly don't knock that because I know what it, what it does for you. But for me personally, sitting down with my family, hanging out with my two little girls, truly investing time with them in the morning, sitting down and playing you know, baby dolls with my two year old or, or sitting there and doing homework with my, with my 10 year old are a big deal to me. Um, walking my daughter to school, my 10 year old daughter to school right down the street is a big deal to me. And if she doesn't want dad to walk her, certainly making sure I'm there when she leaves and, and kiss her on the cheek and making sure that, that I see her off in the morning. Are, be, these are, are big deals to me. I, um, I meditate in the morning. I sit around for 30 minutes and truly try to just slow my mind down and focus on what I need to get done for the day. I walk into the office and I have a list that I have prepared at the end of the day, on the prior day, of the big rocks that I need to move, right? I basically keep a list of uh, every day. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a list guy, so I keep a list of what needs to happen in the next day and then throughout the next week and then what are the bigger projects that I can keep pushing down the road that, you know, big ideas, visionary type things. So I have a list and I come in the next morning and I start knocking that list out early, prior to 9 a.m. By 9 a.m., I start checking email, and that's when my appointments start. I'll tell you that if you are an entrepreneur and you're not time blocking, that is a major, major thing that, that I do and I know most successful people do. I have allotted time uh, that I've dedicated to certain areas of my business throughout the day. So as a CEO, I get to wear a lot of different hats. I get pulled in a lot of different directions. And so in order to block time to make sure I've allocated to address those types of issues is a big deal. And it absolutely allows me to be more effective as a leader. Do, do the, the fires happen? Of course they do. Um, but I think if you surround yourself with really good people, and I think if you have a good team around you, that happens less and less often and you're more um, insulated from it. So I think that's probably the best, best way I could describe my day. Um, I'll certainly put together some more videos and take you through my day, but at the end of the end of the day, the last thing I do before I leave is I put together my to-do list of what has to happen the next day in order for me to be effective, and that's the first thing I'm attacking when I come into the office. Uh, I walk to the office every day, or I ride a skateboard to the office every day. I, I mean, I take a lot of pride in knowing that I went out and I, I created the life that I actually wanted, where. Uh, I live next to the beach, I walk to my office every day, day, I walk my daughter to school every day. These are things I take a lot of pride in and so I make a point of really um, you know, wringing everything out of life every moment that I can and truly suck that up right every single day. 
The, the other thing I would tell you, the last part that I, that I promised at the video is, I think it's really important that you um, take a lot of pride in what you feed your mind. Um, I, I read a lot of books and I try to protect my, my, the way I think. I'm extremely affirmative in the way I talk to myself. I believe I can do anything. I don't doubt myself. I don't sit around and second guess myself. My intuition is everything. I go for it. I believe that, that truly feeding your mind and taking uh, into account that you are responsible for you is a really, really powerful thing to be doing to yourself every single day. I don't speak to myself in terms of I can't do anything. I speak to myself in one word. Instead of can't, I say I choose not to because that gives me the power. It's a choice. If I don't want to do something, I'm choosing not to do it, but I believe I can do anything. So I think that would probably be the other successful tip I would share in this short video is go through the routine, but also be really aware throughout the day of the way you speak to yourself, the way you think about what's possible, the way you attack situations. You know, um, What are you feeding your mind every day? What are you, are you sitting in front of a, the news all day and, and sitting there watching the nonsense that's, on, that's in the media that's just killing your dreams every single day? Are you surrounding yourself with positive people, positive affirmations, positive you know, business building tips, truly growing and thinking in terms of, of what is possible, empowering yourself to do things. Because if you're not doing that, then quite frankly, you're making a choice to do the alternative. That would be what I would share with you today. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, then do me a favor, subscribe somewhere over here. You're gonna see a button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be updated next time we get a video out to you. Take care. Again, thanks for watching.